tonight's Keith Brown Tack Room devotional, Satan is defeated. I'm going to get that in you. I hope you'll speak that every day of your life. Satan is defeated. I walk in divine victory because Jesus paid for it. Amen. Um, we've been talking about this for some two weeks now. We're about ready to wrap it up. This week we're covering six different uh, points. The first thing is that Satan has been cast down. The second thing is his works have been destroyed. Number three was he has been disarmed. Hallelujah. Number four was he has been rendered powerless. And today I'm going to cover five and six. The first one, number five, is he has been judged. Okay, John chapter 16, verse 11 says this, And when he has come, that's the Holy Spirit he's speaking of, when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment, of sin because they do not believe in me, of righteousness because I go to be with my Father and you see me no more, and of judgment because the ruler of this world has been judged. Once again, that's part of the work of the Holy Spirit. We need to turn away from the things of Satan. Why? Because he's been judged and I don't want to be judged with him. Amen. And, um, and the Holy Spirit will convict you of that when you're doing wrong. He will, he will tell you very kindly, don't do that. And it's up to you to, to receive his instruction and walk away. Amen. So, so Satan has been judged. It's a done deal. He already knows uh, where he's headed. He's going to spend all of eternity in the lake of fire. And that's just the way it is. Also, if you look at um, Genesis chapter 3, verse 14 through 15. Now, we looked at this at the beginning of our study. And it's God. And he says, because you have done this, he's speaking to Satan. This is when Satan uh, deceived Adam and Eve. And God says, because you have done this, you are cursed more than all the cattle and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between between your seed and her seed, he shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. He's talking about Jesus there. And so Satan's head is bruised by the heel of Jesus. Why? Because Satan is under Jesus' feet. Hallelujah. He has been judged. He was judged clear back in, in the Garden of Eden when, when uh, God told him this. And now he's been judged by the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the final point I want to make is he has been rebuked. Zechariah chapter 3 verse 2, it says, And the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is this not a, a brand plucked from the fire? God rebukes Satan. Satan is wrong in what he's done. He's been judged. He's been destroyed. He's been cast down. Um, uh, all, he's been stripped of all of his power. It's already done. God has done it. Jesus Christ has done it. And then in Matthew chapter 4, verse 10, Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Again, he's saying, Away from you. You have no power. You have no authority over me. And, and Jesus pretty much rebukes him. Once again, there's all the keys we have. He's been cast down. His work has been des de uh, destroyed. Um, he has been rendered powerless. He has been judged. He has been rebuked. What more can you ask? Now it's up to you and I. We have learned this. We don't have to deal with him anymore. And let's not give him any credit. Let's not give him any credence. Let's just realize that he is defeated. And now you and I need to learn to walk in victory in Jesus Christ victorious and triumphantly. Why? Not because of us, but to bring glory and honor to him. Amen. He's done this for you and I. Now we ought to just receive it and enjoy it. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. It is uh, Friday and we'll see you tomorrow.